Two development projects in southern New Mexico are hanging on a decision from the state Supreme Court. The legal case hinges on whether the community of Santa Teresa can become its own city and fend off efforts by nearby city of Sunland Park to annex the land. As ABC 7's Will Heron reports, construction of hundreds of homes is on hold as residents wait from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Behind me is the La Entrada development project, and as you can see, it's still underway. Officials tell me that when it's complete, there'll be hundreds of new homes for either Santa Teresa or Sunland Park, depending on what the New Mexico Supreme Court decides. The annexation process happened back last August. Um, we were approached by a developer um, that wanted to annex that area, and they submitted an application. Um, everything came back positive, and so we started moving forward. Dirt continues to move in preparation for homes that will rise on this chunk of land that used to be in the unincorporated community of Santa Teresa. It is now part of the city of Sunland Park. What concerns a lot of Santa Teresa residents is that uh, the development you're mentioning was annexed into the city of Sunland Park uh, with a little push by the developer. Uh, apparently so they could deal with Sunland Park rather than the county. The development called La Entrada is inside the black box and next to it is the Santa del Sol development. There are streets and lots but no homes. Pacheco told me the project was halted by the state of New Mexico because of the legal case. Pacheco also added the dispute is affecting new home construction in both communities. That would have um, an impact on that uh, development because it would question whether it was legal to annex that portion of uh, uh, area there into Sunland Park from the county. Sunland Park is growing um, at, at a large rate. Um, we do want to become a community that people come to uh, for entertainment, for things that um, they may not be aware of. But the Santa del Sol housing development. I reached out to the developers, but none have yet responded. Now, as you can see, it has paved roads, fire hydrants, street lights, electrical boxes. This whole area is ready for houses. Now, which city they'll be in is unclear. With the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.